Hello everybody, my name is Lucas and welcome to a new Unity Masters episode. Today we're going to learn what the heck is Delta Time because I know a lot of you have seen Delta Time somewhere and then you just copy it and put it there. So I'm just going to tell you guys how we use it and how it works. So Delta Time is actually the time that happened since the last frame. So each frame uh, there will be a time from one frame to the other so that time is the delta time and we use it when we want to make something frame rate independent so okay what do I mean with frame rate independent the frame rate of a game is usually 60 frames per second uh, if, if you play something like League of Legends or World of Warcraft or you can have 30 frames per second it depends on the game you're playing but the thing is that this frame rate is not always constant sometimes it's 60 sometimes it's 60 to 59 it depends on how many processes are happening during one frame it may be make the frame rate lower maybe make the frame rate higher so let's for example say we have an apple and we want to move this apple to the right uh, with a formula so that formula should be um, if we're not using delta time, we're just going to say transform dot position plus equals vector three dot right times speed. So this is going to move to the right at a certain speed. Okay. So each frame, this is happening each frame because let's assume we put this function in our update. Okay. So we put in an update and it's going to every frame run to the right. So uh, something like that it's going to move oops 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 here. so it's going to move the first frame is going to move a bit a bit a bit each frame okay so imagine that our frame rate is 60 okay so if our frame rate is 60 we're going to be moving this 60 times per second but what happened if our frame rate dropped to 40 then this apple is going to start moving slower because now this thing is happening only 40 times per second and the same thing would happen if the frame rate was increased to 80 maybe our computer is very beefy so the processes can happen really fast and we can actually have 80 frames per second so it's going to move really fast we are not even be able to see it so we don't want this we want to be constant no matter if our computer is slow is lagging or if our computer is a super computer we want it to move at the same speed so we have to change this formula just add time dot delta time so using delta time we're just going to say transposition plus equals vector 3 right speed and also the time dot delta time i told you guys this is the time that occurred before from the last frame to the current frame so let's say that now I have 60 frames per second we can actually write a formula for this so I'm going to write it and so we're moving 60 60 frames right so now we want to see how much is this apple going to move in one second so it's going to move this formula here 60 times because we have 60 frames per second but now take a look 60 times then we have vector right that's one to the right times speed times time dot delta time and what is the time dot delta time okay it's simple we just divide we just divide 1 over 60 because that's our frame rate and we're going to get 0 0.016666 so if we multiply all this we're actually going to get one so we actually get speed okay so now we have speed in one second and what happened if our frame rate drops suddenly well same thing 40 times 1 times speed times now what is the time dot delta time when our frame rate dropped to 40 it's going to happen the same thing because we now we made a constant uh, sorry 1 over 40 is equals to 0 0.025 
0.025. And if we solve this equation, what we get is actually 40 times 1 times speed times 0 0.025. That's 1. So we actually get 1 speed as well. And same will happen for 80. So 80 times 1 times speed times, I don't know how much is that, it should be the same. 0 0.0125 is equal speed. It must be equal speed because we're being constant. So that's that's actually the main use of of delta time. We you may use it to make everything frame rate independent. We're not caring if we're laggy, we're not caring if we are, have a supercomputer, we just want to show the same speed for every user that plays our game. So I hope now you're a little bit more clear when people say these like, I know right, this delta time, it sounds so complicated, quaternions, vector 3, don't worry guys, it's not that complicated, it's simple, so um, hope that now when you see other tutorials or you're seeing Unity documentation, you can be more confident when you're reading those words. So I hope you like this video, if you did, please give me a like, remember to subscribe, and I'm going to upload much more content very soon. I Now I'm having some like travel with university and stuff, but I'm going to start making a lot of videos as soon as I get time on my hands. So thank you very much for watching in, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!